Welcome to Offers Dyke. You are listening to a series of podcasts to accompany five circular walks along Offers Dyke Path National Trail. So, what is Offers Dyke? It's the longest archaeological monument in Great Britain, from near Wrexham all the way down to uh, Sedbury Cliffs on the Severn Estuary. And in places it stood up to eight metres high and with a deep western ditch. It's a very distinctive landmark and now it serves as a national boundary, parish ownership and even field boundaries. Who built it? We talk of Offa being the King of Mercia, which we then translate King of the Midlands. So he sounds like he's some tin pot ruler from Birmingham. In fact, his kingdom covered the area between the Trent and the Mersey in the north to the Thames Valley in the south, from the Welsh border in the west to the Fens in the east. And at the height of his power, he also controlled Kent, East Anglia, Lincoln. He was very much a, a monarch on the make. He was interested in expanding his kingdom, in expanding his authority. He wanted to make links with Europe. He introduced coinage, which was about trade with Europe. He developed links with the great European leader, Charlemagne. So this is something that not many people have heard of now, but actually one of our most significant kings, and he had a major part in forging what we now call England. I suppose you could make some interesting comparisons with Offa's Dyke. The Berlin Wall to keep people in, Hadrian's Wall to keep people out. So what was it for? Well, we're not really sure. The latest theory is that it really was just a show of power. Well, Offa built the dyke at least partly to define the western edge of his kingdom of Mercia back in the 8th century. The nature of the monument with the big western ditch looks very much like it might have been made for defence, so Offa was literally defending his kingdom. The problem is it doesn't have a lot of the other things we'd expect to find for a defensive structure, so it doesn't have any forts, it doesn't have any roads, it doesn't have any evidence that it was ever patrolled. And it seems most likely that what we're looking at is a monument that was meant to impress, to be seen, to convey the power and prestige of Offa. Yes, to make a real territorial boundary, but at heart to be about saying that I am a big monarch, I am Offa, and you trespass in my territory at your peril. It delineated a frontier. It's probably about trade and funnelling your drovers of the past through certain gaps that you could control, maybe even for tax purposes. Such a big structure would have involved many hundreds of people just using the kinds of hand tools that you might find in your garden shed. What probably happened is that there was a levy of people from right across the Kingdom of Mercia who were pretty much required to come to this then very remote area to actually build this great structure. Offa's power is demonstrated through his ability to marshal this kind of labour force. And certainly if you lived within 20, 30 or maybe even more miles of the dike, you would be commissioned to complete a number of yards of the dike. You could, we think, commute it, so by supplying food and drink to other people labouring on the dike. There have been quite a lot of excavations along Offa's Dyke, looking at the form of the bank and the ditch. What we see today is actually just a residual fragment, really, of what once existed. When you see an excavation, you again realise what an extraordinary engineering undertaking Offa's Dyke was. We're not really sure how far it went either. I mean, the walk goes all the way from coast to coast, but did the dyke? It's still debated by historians to this day. The trail and the dike itself are together for about 50 miles. Other sections, we leave it all together. The dike doesn't even run with the trail there, up into the Cluidian Range. A massive section between uh, Gloucestershire and Kington. There's no dike whatsoever. It's gone on off in different directions or may never have been there. But it's not just Offa's Dyke that we want you to see. These circular walks are designed to take you just off Offa's Dyke to some of the little key places and gems that you'll find in the surrounding areas. Five circular walks in total, and each of them a wonder. We hope you enjoyed this podcast. For more, go to www.nationaltrail.co.uk 
slash offersdyke or www.shropshirewalking.co.uk slash offersdyke path.